wouldn't be so good if the authorities found out who killed Dr. Hartman, would it? What's that got to do with me? Plenty. Either you tell me what you know, or I'll tell the law what I know about who murdered Dr. Hartman. You ain't gonna tell nobody nothing. Shanty, and I sure hope it does, Pop. Somebody must have slugged me. What's the matter, Captain? You hit Mr. Cassar's shanty. What? Mr. Langtree was in there, and you run right smack through it just like it was an eggshell. Half speed ahead. Somebody else ran down that shanty. There, Steve, swimming. There. Yeah. Hold him. Go on the lower deck and throw him a line. Yes, sir. Like somebody didn't want young Langtree to talk to Kassar. I wonder why. Well, it's up to you to find out. That was a close one. Oh, I'll say it was. What's the idea of the captain running me down? He wasn't at the wheel. Someone hit him over the head. Hit over the head? Where's Kassar? I was watching when we hit the Shannon boat. Kassar went under the boat. The paddle wheel must have got it. Where's your pop? Up the wheelhouse. Obviously, somebody on this boat didn't want me to talk to Cassard. Here's your coat, Mr. Steve. All pressed. Thanks, Napoleon. Oh, by the way, did you tell anybody about me going to Cassard's shanty boat? I sure did. That Mr. Toller. He was mad about the boat snoring up, so I explained to him that you had some important business to transact with Mr. Cassard. There you are. The next thing is, who is Toller? Do you know anything about him, Captain? No. It couldn't have been Mr. Toller. He was in the salon with me when we hit the shanty boat. <laughs> I guess that settles Mr. Toller. Not completely. Maybe he has friends, and it wouldn't surprise me if they were somehow connected with Heinrich and your land deal. Oh, son, you have too much imagination. Maybe the shanty boat accident don't connect up with your land deals at all. Just the same, don't you sign any bill of sale until you're sure.
You're Mr. Toller, aren't you? That's right. I'm Steve Langtree. Glad to know you. Enjoying your trip? Oh, yes, I am. Say, by the way, do you happen to know anything about the value of property around Duval's Landing? My father owns a good slice of that swamp land, and I thought that no, maybe... No, I, I don't know anything about Duval's Landing. Well, thanks, anyway. I thought you were one of those real estate men aboard, and that, well, maybe you might know. Sorry, I can't help you. Thanks. For. Don't you know we shouldn't be seen together? Never mind that. People are starting to get suspicious about Einrich and his land deal. We've got to get those maps from Einrich tonight. What do you expect me to do? Steal them for you? No, but I would like you to get me a master key to the staterooms. Well, how can I do that? You're a very clever girl, Celeste. Miss Elton, we sure is lucky that we got this master key. So stupid of me, losing my key that way. That happens to everybody sometimes. <laughs> well, there you are, ma'am. Oh, now that you're here, would you open the window? It seems to be stuck. Yes, ma'am, I sure will. Well, everything's set, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Napoleon. Yes, ma'am. Don't forget your key. Stupid of me. <clears throat> an exhibition of the gentle art of night drawing. My friends say I have no mean ability. Personally, I think my ability is plenty mean. <laughs> Steady, Napoleon. Since I've been throwing knives, I've only missed splitting the apple three times. Oh, just only three times, that's... Hmm? as handy with a knife as you are. Like to walk in the moonlight or park by the ocean I yearn for devotion I like to be loved How I love to be cuddled I can't be without it no two ways about it I like to be loved A stroll in the dark A bench in the park Murder of oh, what bliss Take it from me My life's gonna be One big endless kiss What's mine if we romance Why don't you suggest it You probably guessed it I like to be loved Stroll in the dark, a bench in the park, murder of 
what's bliss. Take it from me, my life's gonna be one big endless kiss. Wouldn't mind if we romance. Won't you suggest it? Cause you probably guessed it. Oh, I like to be loved. Where's Shopper? I sent him down to the lower deck to do a little investigating. By the way, Captain, I, uh, I have that deed right here in my pocket. Would you care to look it over? Yes, I strictly would. May I join you, Captain? Hello, Steve. Why, of course. Heinrich's busy. Now's your chance. Claim deed here. Quit claim deed. You're not forgetting the Acadian pact, are you, Captain? No. I'm remembering it. What is this pact business? It's an old agreement made between our families. Dates back more than a century ago. His family, the Langtrees, the Duval family, and mine, the parents. What's that got to do with your signing this deed? The Acadian pact stipulates that no sale of this land is legal unless all three families agree to it and sign the deed. So I'm waiting to hear what his father and Duval have to say. I see. Nice show, isn't it? Very fine, Captain. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll turn in for the night. Good night. Shopper. Steve? Hmm? Would you care to dance? No, not right now, Jenny. Uh, excuse me, will you please? Yes, sure. Steve's worried, Pop. I think I'll take a walk around and see that everything's ship -shaped. All right, honey. Oh, good evening, Miss Jenny. Good evening, Chief. Lose something? Yes, with my boy knife. I was smoothing off some slivers here a while back, and I had to go to the engine room. You probably mislaid us. It. It'll turn off. I could have swore I left that knife right here. 
hope. Pardon me, <laughs> Miss Jenny. Why so jittery? Uh, I, I forgot my deck of cards for the act. Left them in the room. I'm late, sorry. 